friends, welcome back for another grocery haul here on my channel. So this week I did go to Walmart and HEB. I was buying a lot of stuff to send in a care pack that I took to my friend. And then of course some household stock up things, um, stuff that was on sale and a few items for my kids. Uh, if you watched Friday's grocery haul, I did have a mini Sam's Club haul posted on my channel and I did outline a few changes coming to my channel. So I'm gonna mention that one more time today. Um, if you've watched all my videos, I'm sure you're tired of hearing it. I'm sorry, but for people that missed it or that only watch my big grocery hauls, I just want to make sure you know what's going on. So typically I post a grocery haul every Friday on my channel, but I'm actually going to be moving those all the way over to Tuesday. So typically on Thursday mornings, I get up, I homeschool my kids, I go out, I buy the groceries, I come home, I film the haul, I put it away, I cook dinner, my kids have karate, and then I try to edit a video somewhere in there so I can get it up Friday morning. I feel like I'm super rushed on that video and that sometimes I'm not always um, like doing the best work possible. Um, I, I just feel like I don't have enough time. So in order to make sure that I'm doing the best work I can on these videos and giving you guys the best video I can, I'm gonna shift my grocery hauls from Friday all the way over to Tuesday just because it gives me a little more time to work on that. The other change is I'm gonna be moving my what's for dinner videos from Monday back a day to Sunday. So if you enjoy my what's for dinner videos, make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with those when they start coming out on their new day as well. The final change to my channel, to my channel <laughs> is that I typically put out three videos a week, but I'm going to make a change there. If I have um, content for a third video, something going on that's worth filming, then I'm definitely going to be sharing a third video with you guys every week. But some weeks I don't, and I feel like I'm not always you know, putting out really great videos on those third ones because I'm getting repetitive sometimes. So some weeks will only be two videos, my grocery haul and my what's for dinner video. Some weeks I will have a third one. If I've got, you know, homeschool changes that I want to share, maybe a big meal prep video or um, a Dollar Tree haul or something like that. Otherwise, it'll just be my regular two videos. I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope it doesn't bother anyone. If you did love my third videos a whole lot, let me know what it is you liked watching so I can put out more content like that. And also, if you have um, any ideas for videos you'd like for me to do, let me know down below in the comment box. All right, I think that's it. So let's jump in and see what it is I bought for my family. And then when we get back together in a minute, I will go over the meal plan with you guys. All right, guys, there's what I bought for this week. And not all of this is for my household. I'm actually putting together a care package for my friend. It goes with the freezer meals that I made and all of that kind of stuff. So some of this goes to her. All right, let's start down here. This is Walmart, and then this is all HEB. So here at Walmart, I did get this, um, I call it like a multi-purpose tray. I think it's like a boot tray, but I have a Husky who makes a huge mess when he drinks water. And I had one of those, like um, the dog food mats down below it, but it's just not enough for the mess he makes. So I picked this up because this will contain the water when he spills. Then we needed more printer paper, so I got that. Then up here, I needed some more clothespins. We use these for chip clips, and then sometimes my kids use them for arts and crafts. So I needed to go ahead and pick some more up. I got some dog shampoo because we have dogs and it's West Texas. It is hot and it's windy and it's dusty and they need to be bathed. I got some almond milk because that is what a lot of us in the household drink and we were almost out. I picked these eggs up. I actually have eggs, but the price, oh my gosh. So the case of eggs, which is what I bought the last time I did big shopping, it's 60 eggs. I paid $13.27. Today I went to Walmart, the same Walmart, and it was $15.57. So it went up $2.30. It's a big jump in seven days, and it's 60 eggs. So this is 18 large cage-free brown eggs, and this was cheaper than a dozen eggs, the Walmart brand. The Walmart brand of a dozen eggs were $4.23, I think, and these are $3.63. I don't understand why. I checked it out at HEB2, and it turns out the brown and the organic and all that kind of stuff are, for whatever reason, cheaper than even the store brand eggs. I don't know what the deal is, but I did pick these up because we do eat a lot of eggs. Everyone in my house except for Camden eats eggs, so we do kind of go through them a lot. It's one of those easy breakfasts and things like that, and then sometimes I bake. So I went ahead and got some more because we do go through them. Uh, this is a value pack of spaghetti that Walmart sells. It is for me to put in the care pack for my friend. Back here, I got a value pack of the strawberries and cream oatmeal. That's for my husband's breakfast next week because I will not be cooking his breakfast or lunch since I'll be gone this weekend. 
I got some instant mashed potatoes that goes in the care pack for my friend. It's actually so she can use it with some of the freezer meals if she wants to. Uh, wild berry muffins. This is my favorite flavor. And I thought I would just make some muffins for breakfast or snack or something next week. So I grabbed that. I did get some wasabi, which my oldest has already busted into and used some today. Uh, we really like wasabi around here. I got some refried beans. These go in the care pack to my friend. I got some tomato soup because we are out of soup. And this is, I'm really the only one that eats soup. But uh, I really like this flavor. I don't eat soup all the time, but I like to always have some on hand just in case I'm not feeling well or something. I got some of this Black Forest Uncured Ham because it's my favorite type of ham and they haven't had any lately. So I did pick it up because I actually saw it. Uh, I got some sliced Colby Jack cheese and some shredded mild cheddar cheese. While I'm gone, my husband will be cooking and he is going to grill burgers and hot dogs and he's going to make breakfast because those are two of the best things that he cooks. He does a great job at them, so he's going to make that while I'm gone. And so he can use these for burgers, for hot dogs, for breakfast sandwiches, or whatever he needs. There's some hot dogs for him to cook. I did get some, it's like the store brand of Kraft Singles, to give to my husband for his sandwiches for lunch next week. I got Jensen some Kool-Aid Bursts. I got some flour tortillas. These go in the care pack to my friend. These are both on clearance. Um, it's the decadent chocolate chip cookies, which are my favorite. These used to be like 50 cents when they went on clearance and now they're a dollar, but the cookies are like so much more expensive. So I just went ahead and picked these up as a treat. I got some hamburger buns. Um, then, whoa, well, yeah, that's it for Walmart. <laughs> that was short. <laughs> yeah, that's all the Walmart stuff. And then we move over to HEB. Um, I got a lot of bread. So HEB had a special where if you spent $5 on bread, you got, it was like two or $3 off your basket. And I actually needed two loaves of bread and the hot dog buns. So I went ahead and grabbed a third loaf of bread and that all together equaled up to the $5 I needed. We will eat sandwiches and stuff like that, toast, all of that. So we'll go through the bread, no big deal. I got pretzels, my boys wanted pretzels, but Cam wanted the big twist and Jensen wanted the stick. So I just got one of each. I got cucumbers. The English cucumber is to make homemade pickles because I like having the skin on and everything. And I like the way these work when I make my pickles. And then I got these two for snacks and salads. Jensen asked for goldfish, so we got those. This is dishwasher detergent. It's the one that I use, and I'm putting it in the care pack for my friend. I'm also putting this dish soap in the care pack for her. I got some chocolate silk, because Camden loves this stuff. I got two, but the other one is in the fridge. And I just wanted to save space, like I say, every single week. I guess I get repetitive, sorry guys. Um, down here, I did get some dog treats. These are rib bones. These are um, esophagus, and this is just a pork roll. They had, if you buy two, you get one free, so I did go ahead and pick up three. My husky's favorite are these esophagus. He loves these things, so I just went ahead and got a bunch of treats for all the dogs. I got some of these sugar wafers. Um, the chocolate ones were actually on sale for a dollar a pack, but then the strawberry that Jensen likes were $1.43 a pack. I don't know why. And then they had a deal if you bought two, you got so much off your basket. So I got these pecan treasures with chocolate chips. And then underneath them are just some regular chocolate chunk cookies. Uh, my kids needed some more bath soap. They use this Aussie Kids. It's an all-in-one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I got that. I got some more straws. My kids like to use straws. And then Kim uses them for arts and crafts sometimes too. So we kind of blew through the last pack of straws. The veggie straws and veggie chips were on sale too for $3, and I actually really like these, so I just went ahead and got some. I got just the regular veggie straws down there, and then the garden herb veggie chips, which I have not tried before, but I bet they're really good. Uh, this is my husband's favorite bacon, and since he is making breakfast this weekend, I went ahead and got that, and to go with it, I got these Simply Potato shredded hash browns. He has one of those outdoor flat top griddle things, so he'll be cooking out there, and I just thought this would make it easier for him. Um, I got some olive tapenade because I really like this stuff. And if you bought that, you got the free crackers. And I like these crackers too. So we'll just use these to make some adult Lunchables. And then I'll just put this in the pantry. I like to add it to different pasta dishes. So I'll have that on hand. Camden asked for some donut holes. So I got those. Um, we were almost out of tea and I didn't have time to make any. So I just went ahead and picked this up so we would have some. I got some wavy potato chips because we like potato chips. I got these organic ambrosia apples. They were on sale. There was a coupon, so I picked those up. 
Back here I got this uh, cracked pepper Caesar salad. Caesar salad is my favorite. I'm actually about to mix this up and eat some I have not eaten all day and I'm starving. And then I got this black cherry cranberry juice because it sounded really, really good. But that's it. That is it for the grocery haul. All right, guys, so that was my grocery haul. Let's talk meal plan. So this week, my husband's going to be grilling some burgers and some hot dogs because I will be out of town visiting a friend over the weekend. Um, I think that is my favorite thing, that when he grills hamburgers, he makes the most amazing hamburgers. So he will be making those one gone, and hopefully I can snack some leftovers when I get home on Sunday because I love his burgers. Um, I'm going to be making a steak, pepper, and onion sandwich. I actually have some frozen... Um, I think it's like the the steak sandwich meat that's in my deep freeze and I want to use it up and I love a good kind of like an Italian steak pepper and onion sandwich. I have some I think they're ciabatta rolls in my freezer as well so we're going to be making that. Um, I have some frozen cube steak so I thought I would do some chicken fried steak although I could change that over to Swiss steak it just depends on what mood I am when I make this. I, I've been wanting to make Swiss steak for a while I've only made it one other time in my life and I actually really liked it but I feel like my cooking skills have come a long way in like 15 years since I made it. And I would like to give it another shot because I've seen a lot of people make it and it looks so delicious. Um, I have some, it's like, I think it's like pork taco meat in my deep freeze. It's seasoned. It's like strips of pork, not ground pork or anything. It's like strips. It's seasoned. It's really delicious. I buy it from Market Street, I think. And I can usually snag it on sale. So I have a couple of packs in my deep freeze. I thought I would thaw one of those and we'll do like tostados or nachos, just depending on what everyone wants that night. And then I also have some salmon in my deep freeze. So I'm going to cook that. I'm not sure how I'm going to cook it or what I'm going to serve it with, but I definitely am in the mood for some fish. So we will be having some salmon. Um, I also got some breakfast stuff for my husband to cook while I'm gone. But if he does not cook that, I will make breakfast one night because I've been dying to try those. I think they're simply potato, hash brown potatoes. You buy them in the refrigerator section. I bought them here in my grocery haul today. I've been dying to try those and I got those for him because I thought they would be super simple for him to make on his, um, his griddle outside. But if he doesn't make that, then I am definitely cooking it just because I want to try those potatoes. I see people use them all the time and they look so good. Anyway, that's our meal plan for this week. Um, I'm sure there'll be like lots of sides and stuff with all the meals. So if you're interested in any of those recipes or seeing how I'm going to cook any of those dishes, make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with my what's for dinner videos. They will be every Sunday on my channel from here on out. All right, that's going to do it for this week, guys. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you back here soon for another video. Bye.